Hey there kids, it's Tuesday, and you know what that means. That's right, me neither. So it's been about a month of absence, but I have been working what feels like three to five hours per day now, and I have quite a few, should I say, new surprises that I would like to show you. But I'm gonna stick around in the menu here for a little bit, uh, just to not to spoil any of the new things that are going to the level that you're going to see in a moment. So, I uh, it is my humble and pride to announce that we are now done with all of the core systems that we have planned that we had planned planned on implementing in the beginning about a year ago. We've made systems for characters and character stats, skills and uh, and special abilities, uh, by our own physics engine engine for sound, sound effects, yada yada yada, so forth. I believe the most recent thing is, uh, about two weeks from now I sat down and extended our input system. We have a custom input manager that, that is built on top of Unity's own input manager. And I did this little thing where you can obtain the currently bound button for each action and you can rebind them. So I believe I can... No, okay, that was that just happened to be back, but you get the idea. And now I also get to show another nifty thing. You see these little, uh, these little tooltips at the bottom of the screen. They show you what the current av available actions are. If you, if you do an input from another device, like now I have my gamepad, it will change to the icon set of that device, and it will change to the active bindings. So if I were to rebind those, you can actually see the the icons would change. And we have icon sets for keyboard, Xbox, PlayStation, and a, uh, a default generic one, where just which just accesses and buttons that goes from labeled uh, zero to twelve, I think. Which is going to be used if if the uh, if the name of the bound device is uh, of the of the joypad is not recognized. But without further ado, I would like to show you. The, how the, the level currently looks. Aside from a new loading screen. Hang on, how do I... There we go. You can see we have made some new assets. I've been sitting down for the better of the last week and just... remodeled the player and all the, all the humanoid characters. And... Let me just skip the tutorial. Made a lift, nifty little laser, which is, works as a level hazard, and if you look really closely, you can also see there is. We, uh, I've made this very basic system for uh, ambient uh, visual effects, so you can see that there are these clouds that are being spawned in, which is going to add to the polluted and industrious na nature of the city. The, the player has a completely new animation set. There's new roll and punch animations, and the shooting animation is not yet implemented. Along with, there's actually just one weapon, and that is the punch. Uh, there's the first new enemy type that I made, one of several that you will see later. This is sort of a uh, uh, a grunt soldier for the corporation that runs the city, which you which you will end up fighting in the in the game. As you can see, they actually roughly wear the same suit as the main character. I will not say too much about that, but we have a story element plan behind that. And if I move on here, you'll see that there are other two new characters. I based them all on the same template sprite sheet that I made. So you'll see find that the animations are be the animations will be reused between the characters. But they all have their own little unique look to them, so hopefully it will not be too repetitive without it, without being introducing a little few interesting elements to each character here and there. Uh, the uh, okay, that guy just died. This uh, I can get this guy out of the way. So this guy who's currently punching me is actually he his faction is the same as the player, so he is a friendly, but. As of right now, he still uh, he's, he still occupies the the enemy A AI, which means that he will try to hit me, but he can't since we are allies. But if we 
force them close to each other, they should be able to hit each other. There we go. We'll see. If we if it is if we find out that it's feasible, we would like to make a system where you can have a, a, a allies follow you around or clear start clearing the level for you, and you have to escort them. That riot police now has a little stun ability, as you saw as well, so you will be stunned for a little while. Oh, and this little thing. There's a door here, which uh, takes you to a different part of the level. And I thought about it, using this to. Uh, well, to trick the enemy, but <laughs> no, not really, but to uh, to transport the player between different parts of the level, like different indoors and outdoor areas. Uh, I believe those are all of the new characters that we that I've implemented as of late. Uh, the plan for now is okay. So, so what's going to happen now is we won't be. Pro probably, I say, we probably won't be releasing a new version this month, as we said we were, because there's still, uh, as we've done a lot of fundamental changes now, and as I said, there is a lot of things that are lo hanging loose in the air, like we haven't implemented all the weapons yet, half the features aren't really working because there's sprite miss sprites missing to them, so we're going to hold off a little bit on that, but you get this little pre preview video, and if you can see if YouTube's uh, very how should I say, uh, compressed nature actually allows you to see them. Feel free to comment on them. Do you think they are better or worse than they were before? They're a little bit high, more high res, and they are, they have a little bit more, a bigger color palette to them, which I like, and they're probably going to be a little bit easier or uh, faster to do now because they're all based on the same template. But the final surprise I have is uh, I had a temporary brain fart uh, I lost all cognitive ability and signed up this <laughs> signed up signed our studio up for a games competition, more specifically for the uh, the Norwegian Game Awards, a national game competition in Norway, that's being hosted that uh, that where students take part in and they put up their in in progress game and pit them against each other. Uh, so yeah, that is our next deadline for now. The the, the competition is going to be uh, on the weekend. Uh, April 4th to April 5th. So if you happen to be in Trondheim, Norway at that time, please feel free to drop by and you know who to vote for, obviously. <laughs> no, but sorry. So, so there's really just content development now for the next version. Make something more of a fleshed out version that is not a tech demo, but rather a vertical slice that is representative of the final version that we want to make in terms of quality. So yeah, the next build is going to be up around April 5th. But yeah, my intention up until then is to publish some of the sprites I'm working on on our social media. If you don't have them already, we have, apart from the YouTube channel, we have a Facebook and Twitter account. Both of which you will probably find in the description of this video or through the website, which will always, as always, will also be in the description of this video. Uh, which, if, feel, feel, if, if you feel so inclined, feel free to follow them, because uh, I most likely will be posting smaller, more frequent updates there, which are more in the character of, uh, hey, this is like the sprite sheet that I'm working on, things that are too small to put in a, in a video that would make like more than like a few seconds of content. And that is it for now. I'm gonna call it there, but I will end this video with a little slideshow of the sprites that I've been making as of right. Like I said, uh, the f the come the upcoming two weeks, I'm gonna post a little bit of a uh, teaser for what I'm working on in f in the form of little sprite animations that I post here and there on our social media. So be sure to check that out, and I hope to I hope to see you and I hope to hear from you. I believe so far you guys have come with a lot of constructive feedback that have shaped the outcome of the game, and hopefully will continue to do so for the next half a year, a year and that the game is going to be in development. So with that said, I do not have any more time now. I'm going to get right back to making more sprites for the for the uh, Game Awards finale. And I will see you soon, either here or any other social media outlet that you prefer using. See you soon and stay chill.